The last time around, we were hoping the glorious MG Midget's restoration was going to be as straightforward as a layer of paint. Well, we couldn't have summed up the emotion that the MG Midget is better than Marispan. And now, it's time for it all to come together. Or come apart, rather. All for the noble cause of giving it that coat of red paint they agreed upon. Or did they? Yes, my love with old cars and classic cars, vintage cars started with the Morris. So I have a softer corner for British cars than I would have for any other makes. We've restored about four MGTCs up till now. One MGTD, one MGA and this MG Midget that we are doing currently. This is the epitome of British motoring that you can ever have. You know, the British heritage reflects from this car. Every ounce of it shows the British heritage that you can ever have. It keeps the Union Jack flying high and you get a big smile on your face when you are in it and you proudly fly the Union Jack so many times. The procedure is simple but tedious, with a guide coat to allow the metal workers to see where the imperfections are and straighten them out, the midget got its first coat of primer, followed by, you guessed it, more bodywork. With the smooth finish finally achieved, it was now time for the midget to enter the state-of-the-art sealed paint booth when no dust or foreign particles could get mixed up in the paint. Next, it's the turn of the individual panels and a coat of that delicious red. Being a traditional single-stage paint, the whole car then went through a very detailed process of wet sanding which ensures all the orange peel or the natural waves you find in the paint are removed and the paint is as shiny, smooth and glossy as can be. It's a time-consuming process that requires meticulousness but Marisband and his team aren't the kind to cut corners and why would anyone if the end result was going to be an iconic British work of art? Once the main exterior body panels were ready, it was time to paint the engine bay, the floor and boot. After which, with all the parts now freshly painted, it was time for the midget to finally start looking like a car once again. Thankfully, Amal's midget wasn't all that worse for wear, which meant a lot of the components like the headlights, side lights and even the mirrors only needed some sprucing up. And finally, it was time for the freshly painted bumpers to go on as well. While that coat of classic red paint definitely does justice to the beautiful and timeless lines of the MG midget, is this the end of its revival story? Oh, not so soon. Here's what's coming up in the next episode.